everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I was writing with my fountain pen ink, and the other day I did a kind of luck of the draw or luck of the roll of the dice, and I, from that, selected a color of the week or an ink of the week. Well, I wrote down originally ink of the week was Robert Oster's Crystal Marine. When I did my little guide, though, I um, got the colors mixed up. So I was corrected, it was Robert Oster Crystal Marine, but I had the wrong inks swatched for that color. So I was saying Monte Verde Capri Blue one, but it's actually this. Um, in case you're interested or you're following along, I just feel like I had to correct that right away in case people are like, that's not the right ink. So it, it is the Robert Oster Crystal Marine. I've been writing on it um, just now with a couple different um, papers. And I really, really like this color ink. It's um, sort of similar maybe to my Lamy Tourmaline cartridges, but I don't generally use the cartridges. So I don't know, it'll be fun to try these all out because um, I find that when I can really focus on an ink, I find that I like a lot of the qualities of the ink and I en enjoy it. So I don't wanna buy a ton more inks. I have plenty and as you can see, this is my little sample box and they don't even all fit in there anymore. Some of them are about empty. Anyhow, um, it's been fun so far, but I just wanna make that correction and sorry for any confusion if I caused any. The more, the more uh, turquoisey color is the crystal marine and then this almost more denim is the capri blue so in addition to that i wanted to show you um a friend of mine was hosting what's called a mary at mary and martha party it's one of those home type shows where you order on a facebook party or whatever and she um invited me and I browsed through it and I found these devotionals that I'm super excited to try. Um, I have 100 days of Bible promises, 100 days of less hustle, more Jesus, and 100 days of grace and gratitude. <laughs> so I'll be set. What is That's about a year almost of stuff plus I have a couple other things lined up but these are so beautiful these are by Shanna or Shana Noel um, with some of them with Lisa Stillwell she is this is the woman who started the illustrated faith um, company and I got into Bible journaling when I started to notice her products and things popping up on Facebook but let's just take a quick glance and see how beautiful these books are done um, this one has the image of like lined paper, but over here it's like dot grid and I thought, oh, I love that. I think that's so neat. So I think the idea basically is you just read a little short, encouraging thought. There are Bible verses that go with that and then you can journal here. So you can write or you can do the more elaborate um, scrap booking or ephemera pieces down there. And then there's a little prayer. Um, I won't page through them all, but you can kind of see that the format is is similar. I love that it's the dot grid. It just makes me feel like I'm working in a uh, traveler's notebook. Here's the regular grid and dot grid on the other side. Um, I've seen a couple other things pop up. This is a really faint grid on that one, dot grid. Anyway, and the uh, illustrations are just kind of kind of fun, kind of random and scrapbooky. This is kind of neat. Both kinds of grid, the dot and the regular grid. And I love the colors. There's a lot of colors that really appeal to me. And I just love this kind of um, art. Sometimes I try to mimic something like this in my Bible journaling. with The different colors and the spots and so forth. So I'm in the middle of a Priscilla Shire Bible study on the prophet Elijah. 
and we're about a little over halfway through. I'm meeting at a church to do that one, and it's been very interesting. But I'm um, ready to also take a little bit of break and spend time doing some books that appeal to me. I won't spend too much time on this. I can get kind of tedious. I just want to kind of show you the art and the format. This again is the dot grid primarily. And then more bold color there. And then the 100 Days of Bible Promises. Um, so there we have like the little X's or checks or not checks, but a kind of like cross mark. I don't know what you call that. And that's what's here too. So, um, you know, I bought these because for one, I've seen them talked about on various Bible journaling videos. This one's like lined paper. Regular lines. I uh, keep interrupting myself. That's so rude. Um, I've seen these on YouTube videos, and I was kind of curious about them, but I felt like I had enough going on. But when uh, this friend had this party, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and give a little boost to her party, purchase total, and try these out. But I was thinking, I don't probably need to do all these. I might pick up the one that most appeals to me right now, the one that seems like it will be the most encouraging to me. I'm not sure which one that will be, but I'm I'm drawn to the color on this a little bit more. I'll have to look over the content a little bit more. And then I was thinking too that I might save some of these for gifts because I have uh, several spring and summer birthdays to shop for. So I kind of killed two birds with one stone. You know, buy, buy a present and help somebody out. I wanted to point out too that there are, um, I think it's just the one, one ribbon bookmark in each one. So that's kind of neat. Anyway, so I'm super excited about those and just thought I would give you a quick little uh, glance at the inside of those books in case maybe you've been wondering about them too. And this Mary and Martha home show type party, I don't even know what to call it anymore, but it would be like, you know, the Tupperware type party of way back when or Pampered Chef where you go to a home and you see the things and you can order them. But this was like, I don't know if they have home parties. It was all done via Facebook, but that was new to me. I hadn't heard of that company, but they had a lot of fun home products. And I was, of course, drawn to the book things. So that's all for now. Just wanted to pop in again and correct my error, which probably, if you have these inks, you already realized I was calling those wrong and I wanted to show you my new new books. So I hope you're having a great spring so far. It was lovely today. Got out and took a stroller ride at a park with my daughter and her new baby. And we just had a great time and it was just wonderful outside. All right, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.